Hey, welcome back Intermediate Algebra. So this Khan Academy for some will seem confusing, but if you really put your mind to it, it's quite simple. So let's kind of go through this one. It is saying that they know that m equals the expression of 5x minus 2. So we're really looking to, for any expression that is in that format, or can be put into that format. So we want to know which equation is equivalent to 5x minus 2 quantity squared, so that's good, plus 35x minus 14 equals negative 12, but in terms of m, meaning we want to create as much of this as we can. So I would notice right away when I look at this plus 35x minus 14, they both have a 7 in common, and when I take a 7 out of them, I have a 5x minus 2 left over. So let's see what that looks like when I do that. You'll notice that the first part here stays the same. And you'll notice here I pulled a 7 out of the 35 and the negative 14 and was left with a 5x minus 2. So we've put this in terms of the 5x minus 2. The only thing is when we deal with quadratics, we want this right side to equal 0. So let's make that our next step. Let's add 12 to both sides. So you're going to notice I do that in this step. So I've got 5x minus 2 squared plus 7 times 5x minus 2 plus 12. Now we're going to do a little substitution. Anywhere we see the term 5x minus 2, we're going to replace it with the term m. So you're going to see I'm going to rewrite that sentence right here. But anywhere I see a 5x minus 2, I'm going to replace it with an m term. So instead of it being 5x minus 2 squared, it's now just m squared. Here's another 5x minus 2, so I'm going to replace that with an m term, and it becomes 7m plus 12. Now, which answer does it line up with? You're going to see m squared plus 7m plus 12. It is letter C. All right, let's do another type that they do on this one to make sure you fully understand. On this one, we need to find one value of x that is a solution to this whole term right here. Um, what I want you to notice on this one is you'll notice there's a 2x minus 3 here. And I want you to look closely here. Do you see the 2x minus 3 in that one right there? You should if you realize, oh, you could pull a 2 out of both of those, and then 2x minus 3 would be left over. So if we take this equation right here, and we take this and factor out a 2 out of both of them, you'll notice that we have a 2x minus 3 quantity squared on the left side, and we have 2 times 2x minus 3 on the right side. Well, again, we like to get everything set equal to 0. Well, actually, before I say that, let's do this. We want to now replace this. And remember in the last one when it said five, or m equals 5x minus 2? We need some variable to equal 2x minus 3. So we could replace it here, and we could replace it here. It, it doesn't matter what letter of the alphabet you choose. I'm going to choose the letter P. I'm going to say that let's let P equal that 2x minus 3. And we're going to substitute in for that. So I'm going to substitute in for this. I'm going to put a P in its way, so it's P squared. And I'm going to substitute in for this one. I'm going to substitute a P in, so it's 2 times P. Now we can continue to solve and solve for p. I'm going to get rid of the 2p because we want this side to equal 0. So let's do that. p squared minus 2p equals 0. And then do you notice that these two have a common factor? So I'm going to factor out a p from both of those. And I get p times p minus 2 equals 0. I'll do my 0 property product. So this one's got nothing with it. So it's p equals 0. And this one here it equals the opposite of negative 2 or positive 2. Now, we're not done. You'll notice this is what p equals. They're asking for what x equals. Well, we can take this information here, plug it back into this equation here, and solve for x. So I'm going to do it both ways. You only need to do it one way, but I'm going to do it both just so you can see it. I'm going to plug 0 in for p, and I'm going to plug 2 in for p, and I'm going to solve them both. So let's first solve this side. I'm first going to add 3 to both sides, and then divide by 2, and I get x equals 3 halves. If you had chosen this way, I will add 3 to both sides to get to here. I then divide by 2 to get 5 over 2 equals x. So you could choose to plug in 3 halves, or you could choose to plug in 5 halves for what x equals. You can see x equals here, or x equals there. That's how you do it, guys. Good luck to you. We'll see you at Google Hangouts. Bye-bye.